Pisces, how are you? I'm here to do a check-in, all right, with the uh, astrology weather being absolutely crazy um, since around the Pluto, Capricorn, Moon, um, all right, and the aspects since then, all right, so if you've had a particularly troubling time, definitely go out and um, check out the series I did called Love and War of the Gods, okay? which covers Venus's transit of Cancer and also deals with the Mars North Node Uranus conjunction, which are going to make major square aspects to other planets in the sky, all right, and kind of create um, a lot of issues across networks and in a lot of either your personal life or in other people's personal lives around you, creating a lot of towers and some tension around this time, okay? Um, we will have a full moon on the 12th and we are in the middle of the Lion's Gate portal right now, okay? Um, major time for new manifestations and new beginnings, okay? Um, which is an excellent period to have run across this kind of uh, treacherous saga that's kind of crossing the uh, chart in the sky right now. I've pulled some Lenormans for you. This is just for a basic check-in. Um, and a Celtic cross. I will be pulling some clarifiers. Um, this is a good reading. Every reading's been rough. Okay, I see a lot of change here for you guys. Um, the Pisces that I pulled on, um, it looks like they're, you know, with the Lenormand, we've got the uh, the birds, the clover, and the tower. Okay, um, on the archetypes, we have the river, the pilgrim, and the shapeshifter. Um, for your Celtic cross, just to call them out to you, I have the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Cups. Heart of the Reed is the Page of the Cups. Um, recent past is the Four of Swords. Crowning you is the Ten of Swords. Uh, near future is the world. Present position is the Seven of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles in, in I'm sorry, Two of Swords in reverse is um, in your environment that you may or may not be aware of. The star is in your hopes and fears, and the chariot is in your likely outcome. So, um, what I see here is either um, I see a couple different things with career right now, okay, um, as well as like a major shift. The Pisces that I pulled up um, today either has, you know, a lot of gossip coming back and forth to the house or the nest here somehow, maybe some anxiety and worry um, of some sort or another, okay, um, because we have the river underneath the nest. Um, I feel like there's like a huge current for change because once you get in the river, you can't really turn back. It's kind of like... You know, um, it's kind of like a river with rapids, okay? It's got a current, it's very fertile, and it makes fertile new ground. Um, but I feel like you're in a time of major change or transition, or you're like trying to move away from idle gossip and chatter around you, or there may be gossip about the changes you've made, okay? Or other things, but you are seeking some solace, I feel like, at this time, because with the clover it, it, and followed by the tower, it indicates that you're finding solace here of one way or another from the birds by retreat, okay? And it looks like you're very, very, um, either like you're, you're hiding in your castle or, and some of you may work in government, or um, specifically in defense, or have a mate that does, um, or somebody you're highly involved with that does, or you used to. Um, for some of you, that may be applicable. For others of you, I see, um, you know, there's a major walk away associated with this river, um, which is beautiful. It's like on the river, I got the Eight of Cups, the Devil, the Five of Pentacles, and the Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, there's been a delay in news. And that might be why there's so much chatter about changes you've made. For others of you, I feel like you've emotionally walked away from something that was very toxic in your life. Maybe several things. Um, maybe a prior um, a prior job or position for some of you with the devil here. Because the devil can relate anything we're bonded to. Or you are walking away. But there's some sort of emotional tie with this too. And you're definitely in the... Yeah, you know, the five of pentacles is popping out while I'm just discussing that and the five of pentacles is here so feelings of lack emotional abandonment poverty stuff like this it's like you are walking away from all that some of this could have to do with inner childhood wounds especially since we have the daughter of pentacles with the five of pentacles here after the devil um, it could be any kind of bad behavior in the past whether on your part or the part of other people's and any obsessions with past prior emotional pain it's like you're moving away from that at a very, very fast and um, beneficial clip, um, at least the Pisces that I'm pulling up on here, 
okay? Others of you maybe leaving have left a prior environment of some sort or another and you had to do so quickly either for a new job or, or something of this sort, news that came in to go after um, a new job, okay? Some of you look like you may work in communications of some kind specifically, um, you know, it's like right after the river we get the pilgrim and the pilgrim, the pilgrim, you know, it, it, it implicates to me that you're taking some sort of risk or engaging on something that's very new here, okay? Some of you may have actually moved like a pilgrim to reestablish yourself elsewhere because of work or because of some other opportunity that you wanted to chase. That opportunity looks to be very stable um, and like something that you can create, it's the star is falling out with that, a very significant foundation with because I have it here with the Six of Cups. So if you did move, you may have moved with your family. The Six of Cups, the Eight of um, Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. That is some excellent energy. Um, and it looks to be very like nostalgic. So if some of you may work, um, again, items related to defense, you know, aviation, you know, travel, um, you may fi have found your foundations in that, but there's some sense of um, ground-breaking exploration, okay, to deal with some new trek that you're on here, okay, underneath this clover with the pilgrim. Um, and it looks to be very protective and guarded, okay, with the Seven of Wands. Um, and again, some of you may be in something, that you, some of you may work from home, Okay, communicate from home um, in one way or another, or some of you may have just had to make a move and buy a new home very quickly, move with your family, travel, whatnot, and reestablish yourself, kind of moving or exploring a new field or new craft here, um, transitioning yourself. And you have the shapeshifter thereafter, and the shapeshifter, I pulled on it, and I got the star, the four of swords in reverse, the high priestess and I asked on the four swords in reverse because that can like mean kind of leaving other jobs especially if you are in some sort of administrative job before or um, various communications jobs things of this nature or just that you're like moving very very fast clip to shapeshift yourself which is kind of in line with this pilgrims and the river anyway um, which is very very beautiful okay and some of you may be have the protection of government in one way or another, okay, especially if you do undercover or ops or something of that sort, like um, I see reinventing yourself if you do do that or taking a higher position here and you may be privy to lots of secrets of one kind or another with the high priest disappearing here. Um, with the nine of wands, you know, it could, and the star, it could also mean that you're like chasing a new craft you know, that's either online or in the public eye in some way. Um, and it's a significant change of one kind or another, all right? And you may be able to shapeshift in and out of this tower somehow, um, metaphorically speaking, and, you know, um, and not. Like, you may have protections um, of one sort or another here. Um, that said, you, you know, you may be working on a new artistic craft that's rather large of one kind or another here with the Nine of Wands, because I asked on this Four of Swords in reverse and I got the Nine of the Wands in the upright, okay, which can be indicative of like working on a new artistic project or new, you know, project in general and really moving at a fast clip here, okay, and again, there could be secrets involved, so those of you in government or your mates in government, um, if you moved because of something like that, you know, there may be security clearances and other things or some sort of research or detective work or something here, you know, where you hold a lot of secrets or, or something of this sort. Um, others of you may be counselors of one sort or another, okay, and this tower just may be a protective suit against these things that are occurring on the outside, okay, with the um, birds and the clover here, that for whatever reason, it's, it's you know, you have a lot of luck here in seeking this new pilgrimage and protection in the tower, so um, that's all good. Um, you know, here, down here in your present position, you guys have the Knight of Pentacles, and that is a very slow knight, but it's also a very reliable knight that very much thinks of his steps before he takes action, but, you know, is geared up. He may not be moving, um, you know, super fast on the highway, um, like the chariot where you end, um, but he's making slow, methodical steps, you know, towards his end goal, and, you know, usually that knight does not stop. 
until he gets there. Um, so I see a lot of dedication within you right now, Pisces. Um, crossing you is the Knight of Cups. So um, there could be some sort of block in creativity here because of this other energies that are going on because this river can be so fast that can be emotionally overwhelming, especially coupled with the birds. If you're having a lot of anxiety or fears or just nervous energy, especially regarding gossip or something of this sort um, or dealings that you would rather get away from, but you have to deal with in one sense or another, um, the river can be, uh, you know, water is associated with emotions and dreams and in, in tarot, so, um, as well as this card, so there could be a flood of positive or negative emotions, and because these are tied to letting go of devil, five of pentacles, and the daughter of pentacles in reverse, that can be heavy emotions. So that might be a little overwhelming at times. However, I see you in a very, very good foundation um, here. And the river in, in general is very positive. So you may like be experiencing a flood of emotions, happy, laughing, sad, whatever, um, singing, because, you know, like a bird, um, you know, because, because you are experiencing um, a huge change or transition of one kind or another, okay? which may have also involved a move. So you combine a move with, or a potential move with a career change of some sort or another and some exterior stuff, which looks like it may also be going on. Like that's like, you know, tops besides losing a loved one in the, uh, I don't know, DSM four or five stressors, you know? Um, you know, to my knowledge, I am not a doctor. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's a lot to deal with, but you look to be dealing with it swimmingly well. Um, the times are filled with that right now, this month and um, part of last month being especially um, difficult. However, this is a prime time for manifestation because you're inside of the Lion's Gate right now or what's known as the Lion's Gate for um, periods of transition over the Zodiac Wheel, okay, and that, that takes place over different parts of the years within the fixed signs. So, um, here, you, there is a page of cups here uh, in the heart of your reading, so I'm not sure if you want to bring somebody in an apology or you're thinking of someone that you very much admire or you're just thinking of, especially if you are involved in the arts or a particular creative project of one sort or another, your mind may be focused on honing in on your skills, craft, and inspiration here with the page of cups in the, in the heart of your read. What's interesting is the four of swords in the upright appears in the recent past. So again, I feel like there was some sort of rest or leave um, or going away or, you know, kind of thing from something from the past here, okay, in the recent past. And maybe you were sleeping on this new project for a little while or something of this sort. Um, but we'll see. Um, there's a ten of swords above you, which tells me you're contemplating a serious ending. That is dead done over situation when you see the ten of swords can be quite painful um but to have the world here in the near future is excellent it's like brand new chapter or a major achievement of some kind so i'm gonna start clarifying um i you know this whatever's in your immediate environment here with the two of swords in reverse it's like somebody's either you know, languishing at a crossroads at an indecision point or made a bad decision or something like this, somebody around you. And with the seven of pentacles, you're either reinvesting elsewhere and or also I bet you going through contemplating old investments and where you may have invested for a lot too long in places that didn't necessarily reap, you know, a garden harvest back to you. Um, and you may be mulling over these things somewhat. Um, but let's check this out. Um, I would like the mm, four ones, four ones in the moon. Okay, again, you may be in heavy emotions, or there may be some sort of there's some new foundation here in Pisces. That's your card. So, I do think you're on the precipice of a new foundation. Some of you may be lamenting about an old foundation, um, or an old marriage, or old relationship, or something of this sort as well. But let's let's take a look. Can I have this Knight of Pentacles for my Pisces, please? I like that. Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands, or the King and Queen of Wands are very popular because of all the fire, and the freaking Four of Wands. You are like, this is a knight. This is action of a knight. But behind this action of the knight, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, and the Four of Wands. That is some major, like, that is some major good luck, all right? beneficial of Jupiter and Jupiter happens to be in Aries, all right? And you're showing here as the King of Wands or there's another King of Wands around you. 
um, or you're really letting off the fire in your chart, wherever it is. But right now, because of the transitions and the Mars' impact in Taurus, I've seen a lot of signs um, just pop off with the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands at this time. Um, there may be somebody that you want to commit with or in business or otherwise also at this time that comes along towards you that can help you make a significant foundation, whether it's in business and or possibly elsewhere, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, and the Four of Wands. This person, if they come into your life, if this is not representative of you, would be very, very beneficial to you. Um, and you showing up here as a King of Wands if you are moving towards this new foundation, which I do see you doing, it's like... You're booking it, and you're booking it with the power of Jupiter, which happens to be, because the Wheel of Fortune is associated with Jupiter, happens to be in Aries right now. Okay, so letting off a lot of positive momentum in Aries, okay? The sign of the ram, and however it impacts you, or other fire placements are probably impacting you, including your Jupiter and transits there, too. Um, let's get this Knight of Cups here. But again, I see this as your new foundation, because the Four of Wands is here. Some of you may work from home, some of you may want to buy a new home. Um, I, I think for the majority of you, this is slow, reliable steps towards something major that's not necessarily to home, but it could be because you do have a four of wands here as well. Okay. What is this knight of cups? Temperance, death, and judgment. Um, so crossing you right now is like that there is something here, okay, about mixing a new blend, a new alchemy, a new mix, letting something die, okay, um, by internal calling with death here or transform and something to do with that may have to do with your creative abilities or a love offer of some kind, apology, dating, something, yeah, heavy burden, Pisces, you've been stuck in the house, <laughs> something that needs to die off so that you can um, bear something else, okay, something new here is crossing you, okay? Or maybe there you're in a little bit of writer's block or something, or maybe somebody else came to you with an offer that you're not sure if you want to take, or there's some sort of transformation here um, on the love or creative front of some significance. But to have death appear here with temperance and judgment, both good cards, okay? Um, all three of those are major arcana, though. So, you know, um, on that Knight of Cups, there's some major soul soul stuff that's 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 simmering under that Knight of Cups there. All right, we're gonna look more into it. Give me this Page of Cups, okay? That's a little bit lighter. Then I'm gonna go back. Eight of Wands, yeah, this has to do with your business. Ooh. Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Five of Wands. So literally, I I do feel that for some of you, um, this Page of Cups has to do with again communications or somebody else in your life. Okay, it could be. Um, a Leo, Sag, or Aries, okay, or have those significantly placed or letting off. I now have a divine pair here, um, but there's some sort of communications, all right, and they may be on your mind, okay, to engage in communications or an offer, or a love offer. Page of Cups is a very sweet, endearing kind of love offer, kind of um, butterflies, fifth house feeling, romantic love crush, but somebody you very much admire, especially when you get to a king and queen. That's not like you know, that's not like preteen crush, okay? That's kind of a big crush. Um, and with somebody you greatly admire. So if somebody else is involved here, that may be something, you know? But here I do see, you know, you could be training. You could be training yourself in communications better, especially if you are in communications for your line of work. Um, you know, because the five of wands can be a communications card. Um, I'm sorry, a training card. So, and because it's appearing here with the eight of wands. So again, something related to travel and movement and or this pilgrimage shape-shifting thing could come into play here. Um, for others of you, you know, you may be thinking about some sort of cart counterpart to yourself and um, there may have been a fight of one kind or another, all right, with the queen of wands um, or vice versa here that you're thinking about communicating with or making an apology of some sort with, okay? Um, let's, all right, but I see that like this page of cups is, is a very big deal because one of the reasons that you're making these changes right here or behind this, it's like the driving force is this. So this may be somebody you're willing to fight for, compete for, want very much so to move, travel, communicate with something, something here. Okay. Um. All right, um, that 
this person is an inspiration to you in one sort or another and kind of the backing for these moves you're making, okay? Which it does look like, and some of you may be shutting down a cycle, okay? An old cycle in love here with the um, Knight of Cups crossing you, okay? Or there may be somebody that you want to come to, literally come back to, um, kind of raise from the dead with death and judgment. All right, um, but you need temperance, patience, and a new mix, and you know you do have some protection here to do that. But for whatever reason, it feels like a challenge to you. Okay, maybe because of something that happened in the past, or just you know it's going to vary for all of you. I'm going to look into it further. What is this Queen of Swords? Um, this person may have cut you off. You may have cut them off, or you know you could have somebody else with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius um, that's interfering here. Okay. What is the Four of Swords here in the recent past for my Pisces? Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Devil. Um, some of you may have um, slept on a reconciliation of some sort, okay, or a get-together gathering or something of this sort, like if you had or had an actual wedding or I mean, it could be a wedding, it could be a funeral, it could be a lot of things, okay? An event here in the past, um, all right, with a Capricorn that you were extremely stressed out about or um, had one planned, all right? Or you could have, um, you know, had some other sort of um, codependency or bondage here in the past that you wanted to free yourself from or wanted healing from of some sort or another here. I'm going to pull some clarity. Why is the devil here? Yeah, it's like you wanted your independence in the past, okay? You may have left something else on the devil. I get the moon, the princess of cups, and the nine of pentacles. There may have been somebody, it may have been a Capricorn, all right, um, that came to you with some sort of secret offer, or there may have been some sort of secrets in relation to some sort of devilish behavior of one kind or another, bondage or something like that, that you were very, very heavy in your emotions about. Okay, um, in regards to chasing your own creativity or dream and or your um, independence, Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress, at Virgo energy. Okay, for others of you, you may have had some sort of obsession with somebody, you know, um, that could have also had Pisces in their chart, you know, um, that you wanted to make an offer to. All right, that was a very independent person, but you may have not. For whatever reason, you may have slept on it. The Three of Cups. And the Nine of Swords, you may have been afraid to seek reconciliation or there may have been some sort of third party interference or something here um, of some sort or another, okay? For others of you, you may have had an event that you were extremely stressed out about with this person, all right? Um, we have Capricorn and Cancer energy popping up, right? Sun, Moon, Rising, major access points if you have those. Could be various parts of yourself showing up there, all right? Um... Give me this Ten of Swords because there's some sort of ending here that's like on your mind a lot right now, okay? What is this Ten of Swords? Okay, um, so this, this Ten of Swords may have something to do with like some hasty communication or action or actual movement that you made to heal yourself when you left a certain situation. Knight of Swords, Star, and the Fool. All right, um, Aquarian energy, Aries energy, Aquarian energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Swords. There may have been some communications that were hasty or some sort of ending that may have been hasty in one way or another here that's on your mind that hurts still real bad, okay, that you're healing from. Some of you may be healing from endings, um, from childhood wounds of one sort or another with a fool appearing here. And others of you may have had some sort of, um, you know, um, to chase new things, you may have had to leave another place or end something, you know, and you'll never be back there or something of this sort. Um, all right, but I'm gonna pull some more clarifiers out. I'm sure I go around the board, but I wanna go around this board first. What is the world? Because I may want clarifiers on several. I just like to decide after I go around. What is the world here for my Pisces? On the world, I get the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Chariot. So I do see you 
you know, a brand new cycle beginning. Um, this could have to do with collaborations or a new friendship here. All right. And it could involve a lot of um, duties here, carrying the wands to bring forth a contract if you're working around a contract. But I see you wanting to make fast, fast movement towards a victory here, which is the reason why you're investing so much time. All right. For others of you, you will drop baggage to make it to your ultimate destination here. Okay. Um, because it's like you want this to work and begin here and you some of you you may have a major accomplishment with a contract or um moves that you made here all right with the world appearing hold on one second give me this seven of pentacles for my pisces please two of pentacles king of swords and the nine of cups i see some of you guys um all right, maybe thinking or making a decision about whether um, a, another King of Swords like figure was a wise investment, all right, or really like um, being very assertive in your decisions right now that you make about where you invest your time, effort, and money. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is a lot of investment, all right, especially if you guys have experienced a split or are considering a split or something of this sort. Um, and, and the balance of your investments and how you invest your time, love, and effort. I do see you making the decision here um, with the King of Swords to towards wish fulfillment, all right? Or that you may be making a decision here, okay? Um, that's quite significant towards your wish fulfillment here, all right? With the Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Nine of Cups, okay? What is this Two of Swords in the um, reverse? Hold on a second. Okay, that is what you are exuding into your environment right now is that you're willing and you're willing to make decisions and, and balance things to um, follow your wish fulfillment. And that could be in, in any, that could be with a business partner, that could be with a multitude of things. Um, it doesn't have to be with a love interest, but it does look like you're willing to invest here in that, all right, because it's a wish fulfillment, whatever it is, to make this decision to make some changes here of one sort or another or invest in another person. Um, with the Two of Swords in reverse here, um, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So it looks like there might be somebody in, in your environment that is at a major crossroads or place of indecision or felt, feels like they made bad decisions, okay, when it comes to you or something you are involved with here, right, um, and that they're still holding on to you or holding on to this. They feel like a wounded warrior, but there was some sort of emotional walk away here, Pisces, Okay, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and Eight of Cups, okay, um, that is still languishing, all right, um, that is still languishing in one sense or another, okay, this person maybe, you know, and maybe them walking away from other things in their life, you know, or it may be them have, you know, they made a bad decision of one sort or another because they held on too long in like a protected wounded warrior stance. Right, and there was an emotional walk away here, or they have been wounded in the past. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull some more on that in a minute to see if that person's coming towards you because it gave me a lot about you know the environment of that person. And you may be aware of somebody in your environment that's you know acting in a defensive kind of defensive manner here about um, you know kind of it could be non talking, all right, um, or a lack of communication here as well as some stingy behavior of one sort or another, okay? And it may be due to emotional walk away from something else in their life or other emotional pain, not necessarily you. What is this chariot here? One second. No, I want this star. What's this star? It does look like some of you are experiencing, yeah. Um... It does look like some of you are experiencing some sort of ending here with the Grim Reaper in the coffin, but then you also have talking and love. So it's like there's some new messaging of some sort that comes in that is very fortuitous, that's like bringing around some change, and then there's also some endings. And everybody's dealing with these towers, death, card, and endings right now. It's just in the, it's just in the makeup of the uh, landscape this past month and so. It's just the way it affects everybody is a little different. Um, 
on this star we have the seven of cups ten of pentacles and the two of swords so it, it does look like you're really hoping to heal a lot here okay and it may have to do with family matters and emotional um investments and choices and not being at a crossroads anymore especially if you feel like you've like maybe moved or or, ha or had like you know a lot of decisions okay there might be a hope here um, as well as a fear of like having the options and building your own legacy and being able to not be at a crossroads anymore about family matters, particularly legacy building and things like this. Um, you know, home security and stuff like this, all right? And um, there's options here. And I do think that you are hoping that you fully heal, you know, um, some family items as well as like your own decisions here um, that you're really able to tap in to wish fulfillment here on how you want to fill up your cups all right and that you will have offers you know of various stead to fill up your emotional cups in one way or another here towards whatever makes up a ten of pentacles for you okay um what is this chariot for my pisces please Whoo! oh i like that pisces on the chariot, you have the magician, the hierophant, and the queen of cups. <laughs> there may be somebody here that you um, greatly respect, all right? You may have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio also, right? That you are really trying to manifest, um, or you are just trying to manifest yourself in the upper ranks of whatever you're doing to climb the ladder at your own work or career. Um, and I see you doing it at a very fast clip here with the magician, the hierophant, and the queen of cups. It's pretty damn good. Okay, for others of you, this Queen of Cups may um, have to do with a relationship as well, all right? Um, but it's pretty damn powerful um, ending there for you, Pisces. All right, hold on a second. Um, let me pull some clarifiers on that. Oh, I want some on this. Let me pull this real quick first. What is this Nine of, um, what is this nine of Wands here? Okay, so somebody else in the environment around you is also dealing with the Seven of Pentacles issue. So it may be a relationship or old work tie or something like this. Because on this Nine of Wands, I get the um, Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Hangman. You may have another Pisces that you're dealing with, all right? Or something about in the environment around you, you know, you need to take off the blindfold here, but I feel like there may be some action or swift communication to bring you out of Hangman. Hangman came out in reverse. Um, or this person thinking about dropping their walls to communicate and or move. All right. Um, they may have been in a waiting period or holding period for a while on something themselves. Okay. Um, take it as it resonates. What is this um, Eight of Cups over here? The Emperor in reverse. The Three of Swords and the Empress. Holy shit. Some of you may be dealing with um, divorce issues or um, boss issues. Okay, I now have the Emperor in reverse, a Three of Swords and an Empress in the upright. So I do feel like you had an out of bounds Emperor here um, that was acting in one way or another. If you had an emotional walk away, if you, like if you moved, it may be that somebody with Aries in their chart is still upset about the move. Okay, if you... Um, you know, had some sort of emotional walk away because you were dealing with an emperor in the reverse, which can kind of be very overbearing and controlling and, you know, an out of bounds emperor. All right. There may be some heartbreak over that um, behavior there or some sort of decision that they made in the past. All right. Um, hold on. And they may feel like they made the wrong decisions as it comes to you, as it relates to you. Take it as it resonates here. Okay. Um, what is this four of pentacles? Yeah, somebody's still holding on to you here. Hold on. Yeah. Um, somebody either wants a new beginning or is holding on to you or feels like tied out or bound by or is watching or exploring your new beginning here. Um, because on this Four of Pentacles, I get the Ace of Cups, the World, and the Page of Rods. Okay, and again, for those of you that are happily, you know, with somebody else and you did commence a move it may just be that your counterpart is still like uh you know not as happy as you are about the move for one reason or another okay 
Um, but they are coming out of that period, okay? Um, there's something here with Queen of Pentacles. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, Turanian energy here, okay? Somebody may have made a decision here that they're regretting. Um, we'll see if this person pops up over here, okay? Um, I don't want to make you focus on others too much right now, all right? Um, what is this? Let me see something here. I want to see what this, um, on this Nine of Cups, I need something here. Um, what? It, why is death here on the Nine of Cups? Thank God I didn't ask on the Knight of Cups. On the Knight of Cups, I get on the death, I get Knight of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in the upright, and the Six of Swords in the upright. Some of you may have made a bad love offer or moved towards somebody or somebody moved towards you and it wasn't sincere in some way or it was player-like or something about it was offbeat and there's some you know, and this could be you, okay, and you're trying to transform or end that now and move towards calmer waters, okay, or, and for some of you, maybe moving away from that person, okay, one way or another, death, or there was a death here that's like bothering you in one way or another, okay, death transformation, but you are trying to make a new mix here with the temperance and judgment, okay, judgment can literally be raising something for the dead, hold on, what is the judgment here for? Yeah, there's like something here on this judgment. I get like strength in the reverse, five of pentacles in the fool. There's some sort of decision here made or some sort of ending that took a lot of strength, but you didn't feel like you were in charge of your, yeah, hermit's trying to come out. Um, in charge of yourself or taming the inner beast was not like on par with it. And, you know, you or somebody else may be ruminating somewhat about this. Okay, the five of pentacles is also here. The fool is also here. Something about this was very painful and, and hard, okay? Um, but I do see like you have protection here and want to transition away from that. For some of you, if you were holding back from somebody, it may be hard to hold back any longer, especially if you've been out in the cold with that person for a long time. You may want to make a fool's leap towards them or f just have felt like you made a mistake and you weren't in control of yourself here and it you know on some move here that was made yeah queen of pentacles in reverse is coming out now maybe you were dealing with a little capricorn or taurus or some sort of domesticated partnership here that was off okay um give me this um give me this two of swords over here Yeah, on this Two of Swords, it's like Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. There may have been somebody that you dropped here that was very materialistic, King of Pentacles in reverse, that you broke up with here in the past and you're still healing from. All right, could have had Capricorn, Virgo, or, or Taurus in their chart, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, that was this, the King of Pentacles in reverse will do shoddy business deals. He will screw you over in a business deal. He can be very materialistic. Um, it looks like if you were at a decision point or broke up with somebody like that, again, the wheel of fortune was on your side and that decision, all right, um, to drop that baggage. Okay. Let alone to show up here with a star, you're still healing in some way or another. Okay. You don't want to be at a place of indecision. Maybe there's something lingering that you're looking to wrap up there with that. Okay. Um, you know, there's no gender in tarot, the king of pentacles and, you know, could be male or female. All right, but it is a sign for a domesticated partnership for me. Um, what is a Seven of Cups or a marriage, okay, or a live-in partnership? On the Seven of Cups, the Tower, the Sun, and the Judgment. Holy shit. Again, some of you I feel like, um, you know, are healing from, like, options related to something here that may be popping off or coming back, literally coming back around even though it's dead or something's illuminated here, okay, okay. And some of you may be looking to ask someone for forgiveness or ask them back in your lives in some way. Others of you um, 
you know, there is something here with options, especially if you played somebody or got disillusioned, all right? Um, there may have been some feeling of making the wrong choice, and we have that Two of Swords in reverse over here, okay? So this could be somebody else that you're thinking of right now or that's thinking of you here. Um, I do see it in that way. I'm going to pull some advice for you guys, and then I'm going to close it out. Um, this looks like a very beautiful reading. Let me know how it goes, Pisces. I'm going to um, probably do an all signs reading with a six-pointed star spread for each one of you guys tomorrow and um, do a couple other readings this week, okay? I hope you guys are doing great. Give me some advice for my Pisces, please. I just can't believe the way you ended this over here. I mean, I mean you have Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus over here, and then a Queen of Cups. I, I might should ask for one card on that. Give me some. Give me some. Um, give me some advice for my Pisces. The Empress. Judgment. The magician. There's something here. There's some divine feminine here, or or you are the divine feminine. You're being called internally here to make a judgment call, or you know you have been um, trying to manifest something. And the message here is to keep going after your, whatever you're trying to manifest. Okay, um, it's a huge deal. All right, the Empress is all four queens in one. All right. The Magician is a major arcana, all right? Um, first one after a fool's leap, and I feel like you guys already made the fool's leap or, or want to, but it's it's saying to keep heeding the calling here towards what, you know, pay attention to your inner intuition. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles fell out on the judgment, okay? Two of Cups, major love relationship here. There's something or someone you're trying to manifest here or somebody you're really trying to tap into here. It could be a divine feminine figure. Um, the advice is to you know, keep moving along towards that. <laughs> here, Queen of Cups, yeah. Right over here. Um, all right, somebody with significant Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart, okay, or this is you, and this is just to nurture the love if you're attached to an Empress, okay, um, to nurture this relationship and the love here. It does look like for some of you, you wanna go after this person, you're not with this person, that you can build your ultimate legacy. You're being called to something here. Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. Okay, it's attached to an Empress, Judgment, Magician. Those of you that, that resonates, the Wheel of Fortune. Time waits for nobody. It looks like you're doing that. I mean, it's like the same cards popping up here. Chariot, Magician, Hierophant, Queen of Cups. Let me know how that goes, Pisces. All right, I'll see you later.